Six Max, Six Music, Wednesday afternoon, we always have uh, one of our new favourite bands in. Uh, this week, uh, you'll recognise uh, the song when we play it, but it was last week's single of the week, Here You Come Again and Again. And we have two of Milk Can joining us in the studio. Scrappy and Jimmy are here, and welcome. And how long ago is it? Because I remember playing a Milk Can demo, which I'm thinking... Three, two, three years ago. Long time. It goes back like Reebok pumps Four and years. rocking chairs, Steve. <laughs> so we're talk we're, it goes. Was it, was it just after the Stones played Hyde Park? That's that, right. That yeah. One. yeah. Pretty much. I remember when you first played. It was March two thousand and four. Right. But uh, I suppose the band that started. I reckon. What do you reckon? Sort no November, December oh three. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I think some up. people will hear it now and they'll think, oh, it sounds a bit like the streets or various things yeah, which are around. But obviously, you were almost predating some of the some of the um, people who were making Definitely. music, which sounds a bit like you yeah, know. Yeah, we thought we were as well. Yeah. You were ahead time. of your time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's been, we've been doing it for a long time, do you know what I mean? And it was literally like, it was a busking and open mic thing. We weren't playing gigs. I didn't really go to see too many gigs, really. Mm. I sort of, so we started like on a thing of getting the night bus home and playing on the way back home and yeah. playing on trains, tubes, open mics. And then just you had a bit, uh, so got a mini studio and it was just like proper little bedroom Four outfit track stuff. thing, really. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you, had you always been writing though? Writing, you know, words, you know? Pretty much writing words. I got into a lot of hip hop as well. I was DJing hip hop at some time and Jim was into his acid techno. Mm. And, like, Beats and yeah. We yeah. were just sort of like some crazy mash, mash up mix of stuff and we came together and just picked up, a, picked up a couple of old guitars and just Pretty started much. from there, yeah. And I say on that first demo, they did sound like very old guitars. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were both our mothers from when they were yeah. like 16. No, like, really? Our old classical guitars, yeah. Really? Oh, they're totally beaten. I'm going to put them in the museum. They really <laughs> sounded like they had that battered folkiness. They were. Yeah. Oh, they, battered yeah. nylon stringed classical yeah. guitars. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, someone was telling me you were going busking this afternoon before coming here. Did we you, have, did been. You, have yeah. been. It's a tough part of yeah. town to busking though. We've been moved on a couple of times and we ended up outside, what was that last boozer? We met this guy who sells outside sunglasses. The, outside the cock and Portland Street we were and we got moved on from there. Did you? We got, yeah. we got, we got a few pence together. We, we were <laughs> going to bring you in a Twix but it melted in the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> but yeah, no, it's not have been you, the best busking day. Well, no. where's, where, where's a good place to uh, bask if uh, people are coming to London? Right. Obviously the West End is obviously very difficult because, you know, that's For me, the night sort of... buses are my favourite because I'm always on my way home and my guitar's right. always pretty much with me. So it's on the night bus. How do people react? Surely aren't they, aren't they at that state? Well, I suppose some people are, are merry enough to... Uh, Me and Jim have luckily got fast feet and good, <laughs> good trainers. So um, the people who don't like us, we run from, and the people who do like us, we normally give a milk can sticker but or a badge. It's busking in the sense of just picking up you know, fans and friends and, yeah. you know, putting the music out of it. Uh, so, um, tell us a little bit, so a bit more of the history then. So, uh, after uh, the first demo, there was a bit of attention and stuff, and I suppose you've just been sort of building up from We from sort of built the band up from that then, really, because right. it, it was just two of us at first, so then we got, like, the drums in, yeah. got the bass in, that kind of took about a year or so, and then we got um, signed to do a little thing with um, P.S., where we put out our first single, yeah. and then from that, things, you know, we were just sort of, went a bit bit mad because then Chris Moles played it and yourself mm. played it. And yeah. That. So things are kind of crazy, but from that we got to go and like play with the Violent Femmes at Shepherd's Bridge Empire, one of my favourite bands ever. And yeah. Then played the Good Wireless. Dudes, and, you yeah. know, we just kind of went with the flow of it all a bit, but behind all that, it's kind of like that whole sort of a uh, wild west of the music industry. Sort of petered out a little bit. And the then, good, the bad yeah, and the yeah. ugly, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so we had a little yeah. break for a while and now we've sort of like got ourselves together. Uh, do, you, do you have a, uh, do you, I'm imagining you have, you've got a, an awful back, uh, an awful lot of songs now, a backlog of songs. Loads of songs, yeah. but we just haven't recorded them all really yet, right. but um, that's pretty much what we've just pretty much secured now really, is that we're gonna do the album now and looking right. to release something else at the end of the summer with the you, album beginning of next year. You, you haven't considered just doing a night bus bootleg album? I don't know, I suppose, yeah, we could do, I suppose, but uh, no, I think we want to get into it a bit deeper yeah. than that, yeah. really, because yeah. it can kind of go. Because the thing ways. is, although, although we're making it sound very rough, the production on this new record and the sound of this record, it sounds like a big pop record, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it kind of came, yeah, I mean, it's, how that came across was mad, because like me and Jim just wanted to, we got sick of it all, really, because like, after the attention we got and then doing this and that and then people never giving you answers and being stuck in like, you know, this industry of like just really complicated. We just wanted to get away again. So we're back, went back, when we went out to New York, we've got a lot of mates, which is pretty much where sort of a lot of it started, really. And started playing like on the anti folk scene there again. Yeah. Where Loads of open mics out there. Open yeah. mics and stuff. And at the time, me and Jim were doing like a cover of the Here You Come Again yeah. um, Dolly Parton song. I was doing it with my own lyrics. And yeah. uh, at the time, Barry Mann, who actually, at the time, we didn't know who he didn't was. Didn't know who, who he was, was yeah. But he actually wrote the song and he had heard us playing it. We gave him a CD and that. And that's pretty much how the whole link with Dolly Parton came up, really. And the next thing we know, Things led from here to there, and we end up in the studio with Dolly Parton on Fifth Avenue, and uh, did the did the whole track really, and it's pretty much come from that. You Went see, out for dinner. It's, yeah. a, it's at this point where I'm now thinking, 
I'm on an episode of Call My Bluff. No, I, I, no. you see, <laughs> I, I just don't know. You look, you look convincing enough. No, we, for it that, to be true, it was mad. It was total mad, wasn't it? Like yeah. it was literally a week later after meeting Barry Mann, and we were like found ourselves on Fifth Avenue recording in this studio with Dolly Parton. So she she was coming over anyway to New York, and uh, it literally took like half a day to record. We got certain parts down, and then got the best rest of the band to work on it, and we ended up going out with for dinner with Dolly Parton. Uh, and Donald Trump in Trump, t Trump Towers with Barry Mann. Absolutely They're very crazy. good friends. Yeah. And so, uh, who's who, who's going to be next then? If, if, I, if I'm going to swallow that story, Elvis. Who's, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should, it could have, be. should have seen that one coming. <laughs> uh, tell us very quickly, obviously, you know, having built up to, uh, some fans, I'm always being stopped at gigs by people who are giving me milk can stickers and badges. Oh, I've really? given you one a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like, but uh, there's a lot of people out there. Who obviously, the, if you, the fans that you have up a really determined. I think a lot of people have been it. really interested. Like, um, you know, we can't, you know, we've got so much thanks for everyone who supported us the whole time, mm. and like, we've got a lot of stickers, a lot of badges out there. And do you know what I mean, there's a lot of people obviously who are into us, and do you know what I mean, just love them for that, really. And we just keep keep pushing, we're not gonna stop doing what we're doing, really. So, uh, plans, uh, then after this single, um, pretty much getting, getting going with the album. I, I mean, really. that's it, because we've, because we've sort of been now doing things on our own back a bit rather than having any label behind us and stuff like yeah. that. Um, we you know, we just want to get going. We've got some great people behind us, a great team, right? And we just want to do it, try and do it on our own, put it out there and have all the songs there ready for, for whatever, really. Yeah. You know? We've well, got all the stickers and badges out there. Let's get yeah. some records out there as well. <laughs> uh, there's some uh, live dates coming up as well. Uh, all of these are around London, but if you want more information, it's myspace.com slash milk the can, isn't it? Yeah. With uh, a K. With, with a K. With a K. <laughs> yeah. Or, or milkcan.com. And uh, Scrappy says it's uh, milk, then uh, can. Spelt K A N dot com. That's where you go. Uh, the single is out on May 21st. It sounds like this. Thank you very much for coming in, boys. Cheers, Cheers thanks, The night is dark, he'll keep it low key. The moon smirks whilst the stars spit on me. A Mercedes lights come and bends around the street. I feel so well, but yet I feel so weak And you've got to understand I'm just waiting for my man Ain't got no $26 though I've got a bullseye in my hand Because here you come again 